Hey guys, welcome back to Spider-Man for the PS4. So, this is part five of our series. It's, uh, what day would it be? Let's see, Wednesday, Friday. It's a Friday, so happy Friday to you all out there. I think we're gonna reach Hey guys, welcome back to Spider-Man for the PS4. This is part five. It's Friday. I hope you all enjoyed your week. I hope it was a good one. Let's get going with this. And uh, if it wasn't good, let's make it better. If it was, let's cap it all off. I think we're gonna start off with putting a different spider suit on. I like this one, but I don't know. I don't know. Gotta get to Officer Davis's medal ceremony. But I'm right here. All right, let's look here quick. Maybe that city hall I'm supposed to. Friends, I've just received an update on Adrian Toomes, AKA the Vulture. Apparently, this winged criminal has fallen ill with cancer, and he's been moved to the Raft's infirmary for treatment, which will undoubtedly cost a fortune in public funds. Now, let me ask you, why do we even have an infirmary at the Raft? It's a supermax prison full of maniacs. If they get sick, let nature take its course. Now, I realize that's harsh, but so is my tax bill. Oh, and I see we, uh... Got the lovely, hey, your batteries are dying. Should have charged them last night. I knew I should have. I was recording a bunch of, uh, oh, what do you call it? Uh, Warzone clips again yesterday, but here I didn't think we would have to worry too much about it. So. I think we're going with the Iron Spider this time. Uh, let's see what we got. That, that's a spider drone. Our luck web. Oh, we're level 13 now. Nice. Um, oh, we don't have any crime tokens. That don't help us. Uh, that don't help us. That don't help us. Oh, we could definitely do that. Spider drones. And we need crime tokens. What do you know? Our luck web. Upgrade that. And we need challenge tokens. We don't have any of that. Those either. Hey, we got three, so let's do payback. And so a chain finisher will be the next thing we go for, so. Alright. I know we probably could have done this last time, just made it a little longer of an episode, but. I mean, we've already got a whole, uh, uh, a whole hour every episode. I don't want to go farther than that, guys. It just doesn't make sense to, really. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Let's see what ends up happening here. There's the stage entrance. And we'll be right out front. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. The last time I gave a speech... I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. Well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> come on, honey. Uh, 
Of course. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so... so? I think this gang war may finally be over. Like, like over, over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends? Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family, my wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. My spidey sense is tingling. Oh, wait, wasn't that? That was Martin Lee. This isn't good. Adios. Miles! Miles! Right here. Thank God. Can you hear me, baby? Can you hear me? Here. Voice my hand if you can hear me. Stay here. I'm going to find your father. Peter. Peter, wake up. Come on, say something, please. All right, so now we're going to play as Miles Morales. And obviously, uh, there, everyone knows there's another game immediately after this. But this is before Superpowers, so. Crazy. Over there. Whoa! 
Under there. Right there. What the hell? Demon! Where do you think you're going? Side cut. You can pull you. I can circle around the edge. That was right there. Gotta help him. Yeah, come on. Look away. Look away. Dumb of you, kid. No. no. Enough. We have to leave now. Dad. 
Dad! Dad, no! <sighs> Wake up, Dad. Wake up. Wake up. I really liked Officer David. Not... But that's the end of part one of this uh, whole game. So it's a three-part game, basically. So now we're going to go into that second part here. So unfortunate. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were gonna say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Or don't worry, it's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry, I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Well, it's not like Peter doesn't know exactly what he's going through. I mean, lost both his parents and his Uncle Ben, so... He does know what it's all that's like, so... much coverage. I should look for more towers to activate. I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm busy. What's up? Have you started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you, I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy. Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. Hey, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up and that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on Lee? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Uh, sounds a little far-fetched. This is coming from a guy who can run up walls. Alright, so... Finally made it up towards the Harlem area, and we're just gonna start... Come on. We're just going to start getting some of these towers done first before we continue on with the story. Um, 
I like having the full coverage, seeing the full map. It, it definitely helps. Um, I do this with almost every game that has some sort of power base like this. Oh, let's see here. And then we got this one last one here. Okay. You snore like a water buffalo. Doesn't surprise me. Whoop. A little rainy here today, so. How's everyone doing today? I hope you all had your fantastic weeks. Uh, I know mine was we have an active pretty situation busy on last Location week. Is East Harlem. Um, this, this week, not as busy, but you know, it, it just, you know, get your work done for the week and move along. I know, like, uh, the day of recording, and got a bartending shift later tonight, and then I got uh, another one tomorrow. And then if you're catching this on Friday, uh, oh, this would even be later than that. We're about two weeks out or so. Um, so we're going to do this series up until... Uh, it's finished. It, this is going straight through to completion. All units, be advised. We have reports of an active bomb situation. Report came in from Lennox Hill. Bomb situation? Spider-Man, the situation is under control. Uh, you, you, I just heard report of a active bomb situation. You're telling me it's under control? Uh, I think those two things do not go hand in hand. So. All right, we're kind of, we're getting there. Um, let's see, where, what else are we gonna do here? Where is? Okay, so her lead is that way. We're gonna hit up that one, that tower. Away the there. Whoop! Oh, almost hit. Oh, the Central Park. Also a day to vow never again. It stops here. Some people say I blame everything on Spider-Man. Well, I don't blame him for the bomb. That cowardly act is squarely the responsibility of whoever committed it. If we're gonna keep New York safe, we can no longer tolerate the kind of lawlessness Spider-Man and his ilk represent this is our city. By God, we're going to take it back. Well, at least he didn't blame me for the bombing. You know, that... I wasn't even Officers, be at advised. the scene. A mugging was just reported. Officers, please report to Lincoln. The holdup guys are phoning it in lately. Thanks, 
All right, we got another crime token finally. Woohoo! All right, let's see. Whoa. All right, let's descramble this. Oh, almost. All right, there we go. I got a question. Why does it always seem like the bad guys have more money than they need? I mean, Martin Lee bought stock in a company. 10.30. Masked suspects are attacking an armored car. Location is Monk Park. Over. Hey, I'm here. Demons are out of control. Heart to heart time. Were you not loved enough as demon babies? Dad to withholding? Mom not around? Let you cry all night? Dang it, I... That one just always looks like it hurts. Ooh. That's the power of what we put on earlier. Nice. the demons need that much cash? Right, so we got three. Four kind. All right, all yours. Up to third. MJ's hunch was right. The place is crawling with demons. Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. God, that almost went bad. Big guy left. Oh, and we got him. That's why you stealth your way through some of these. Okay, that's all of them. Oh, high security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. Got a electric. Looks like I could override the circuit. There we go. Need my electric webs. I got it. Well, that did something. It looks like the circuits need a little more juice.
junction box. There. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Gotcha. Almost there. One more box should do it. There we go. Those three were the ones. That's it. Yeah. Just remember, people, it's been a while since I played this game. I only played through it twice. tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait. These are Osborne campaign offices. All the paths originate from the same address. All right. Okay. Stuff. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. Crazy. Whoa, that okay. About ten barrels in one truck. Two vehicles per bombing. Holy fuck, guys. You know the explosion that would cause? If you do, let Guns me know down Fisk's below. Armory. Just interesting. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. <sighs> be careful. All right, let's go try to stop him here. Quick. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. Alright. Oh. God, I love this. Because it's never one... It's never the same path every time we move. We got close enough to our objective. Let's get her done. I got her. Consolidated shipping. Well, a lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style. Well, let's craft. I can use that stuff I found at the recycling center. Alright, can I? Nope, not till level 50. Nice. Love using bad guys' own weapons against them. I love and that. that. 
friends is what karmic justice looks like. Like it hurt. All right. How do we want to attack? <laughs> Literally didn't see that coming. I'm sorry I was so quiet. I'm just inside. trying to think there. How can I get all those guys? So, all right, let's look. Okay, what do we got here, Martin? Like more blueprint. They have bases all around the city. Oh, base. We only did the one base from uh for Fisk when they introduced them.
still technically got to do all of those. So. What else can I find around here? Huh. Invoice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune-up. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. These guys aren't kidding. Hey, MJ, I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. Nice. Did you find me? No, but I found something we should look into. This place called Pale Horse Rides. Sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. <laughs> All right, so. Whoa! Ho oh, ho! That was pretty cool. Oh, my. Well, say, he, he can't survive that much longer, can he? Hey. Copy, Silverbird. We're descending to location. Well, who are these guys now? Safety's off. Well, this is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a- Hey! That's not how we do things! Down! Down! Code SM-1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM-1. Code SM-1. Holding for orders. Copy Code SM-1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverbird. Well, well, well! Entrance, solid eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. 
Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International, a private security Silver force. Sable. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. That's what you call gentle? Ooh, it seemed pretty rough to me. Alright, so... Hey, Almost sorry about that stable thing. Right. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find in each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this. And what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. Right. This is Sable Control. What's the situation in Koreatown? Outpost is under siege by demons. Woohoo! Missed another call from Doc. Peter. I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Fingers triple cross, Doc. And fingers quadruple cross, that's not gonna end badly for us. So, all right, let's see. What Martin Lee's got in his office. I... Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just... Having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. All right, so let's see what we can do to help. Aunt I should May. check out Lee's office. AKA. Lee's office. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. May said you were at the bombing. I was praying for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Hmm. Right. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. I don't feel safe anymore. Oh, it's nice that they're all leaving. Maybe there's a vent somewhere. Huh. Never seen that room before. Whoa, what the? High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. 
Corporation. No, I don't know when that will be. Alright, let's look around here. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Might not all be his fault, though, too. Well. Lee's journal. A key. I wonder where the lock is. I can really believe it's the day I've planned for. Dreamt of it's finally here, but for some reason. I hesitate. Can I really go through with this? Things will happen so quickly if I give the word. My men will claim he sounds arms. conflicted. Almost secret. like he didn't want to head down this path. We'll use that strength to teach Norman true pain. He'll know what it is to see the things he loves destroyed by his own hand. But achieving that end will mean giving up so much. Everything I've built here at Feast, all the good I've done, could be wiped out if my plan succeeds. My chance is finally here, yet still I hesitate. Should I turn back? A part of me wants to, but the demon is hungry. I don't think I'm strong enough to hold it back. Well, well, well. That's your... That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Okay. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. A balance the monster will turn on anyone who attempts to control it. I mean, there there is a point to that. I mean, just in general. Okay, so. Hey. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. There's that. Oh, I see. Yes. There it is. What are you hiding, Lee? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Lee's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Older MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Phew. It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. had found this. Or May. To 
I want to think of what could have happened. Now, how do I get out of here? Alright. Hope no one sees us. Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I can get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Oh, boy. I never like the sounds of that. When my work is done. Wait, wait, wait! Three skill points. That's nice. Captain Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named May Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that. But I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey. Can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah. Dinner. Huh. What should I cook? This is control. Where are Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Uh, be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by just for a minute. Alright, well, so we'll do this and then, uh, call today because normally, obviously, this stuff doesn't take too long.
Just Friends, the facts. Today we have a very special caller breaking important news right here because where else? Mayor Osborne, thanks for calling in. No, thank you, Jonah. When you were publishing the Bugle, you were always fair to me. Tough, sure, but fair. Well, that's my job, Mr. Mayor. All I have is my integrity, and I won't compromise it for anyone. Now, what's this crucial breaking news you're revealing for the first time anywhere on my show? Well, after the brutal, cowardly city hall bombing that almost claimed my life, it's clear our understaffed police department needs help. And I want to reassure the people of New York that I am providing it. Aha! I said it! You all heard me say we needed this. Are you using my idea of bringing in cops from Lake Placid? Ah, no. Though that was a fine idea. No, this would be a security contractor, much like the ones our military uses to assist our troops overseas. I can't name it until the contracts are signed, but their qualifications are impeccable. Well, that sounds terrific, Mr. Mayor. Though, of course, I'll have to reserve my tough but fair final judgment until I have all the facts. I'd expect nothing less. And let me stress, this is in no way replacing our brave officers of the law, just augmenting them in a way that cuts through the red tape and gets results. And results are what we want. You know, I'm glad you're here so I can share my theory on how Spider-Man may well be working with the demons. And a fascinating theory it is, I'm sure. But my doctors are advising me to get some rest now, so if you don't mind... Oh, of course. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Mayor. My lines are open for you anytime. Jared, did you hear? Tough, but fair! That's our new slogan. I don't care who else is using it! Don't care! <laughs> Tough but fair. Alright, guys. Uh, you know what? We're gonna leave this for the next episode, actually. I'm I, I think this is a good spot to we're end. Teams. What's the status so, of our position in the West Village? We're gonna Control. just leave Control. it at that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And comment down below kinda if you've played this game yet or if you're looking to play this game. I, I'm interested if this uh enticed you to play this game either again or at all. So uh, ju just please comment down below. Uh, hit that like button if you like this episode, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.